Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. Exciting day today because, as promised, I do have a new team for you guys there on the left-hand side. Um, four of these Pokemon are brand new that I have never used before. Two of them are actually throwbacks to ORAS, those being the Sylveon and the Rotom, although I am using a different form of Rotom now than I was uh, then. So, um, I feel this team is a pretty cool and interesting combination. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it does in battle. So uh, our first match with the team today is going to be against Tifa. This is actually the person formerly known as Thora, who I've battled a few times back on Sun and Moon. And uh, this is actually a guy in real life, and he has his own channel, uh, Super Cloud Strife Fanboy, which I will link in the video description so you guys can check that out afterward. And uh, other thing to note here is that uh, tears are kind of out the window on this one. As you can see, he is not playing uh, OU rules uh, with his team. But uh, despite that, this actually turned out to be a pretty good battle. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get into it. So looking at the team preview, I really wasn't sure what he was going to want to lead with. Um, so I just decided to lead with my um, Seismitoad, the Hypnotoad, um, as he actually just leads off with the Arcanine. So uh, he is going to outspeed me, of course. He's going to go straight for a close combat, probably the best move he has for me. That is only going to take me down by about a third, though. Uh, which was not bad, and it is going to cut both his defense stats. I just decided to take this opportunity to go for the Stealth Rock to get that Entry Hazard set up on his side early, and I'm going to regain some health with the Leftovers. So he is going to stay in here and go for another close combat, probably just trying to wear me down. That is going to drop me down to about a third of my health, um, and it is going to cut both his defenses again, which is great. Uh, so I am going to go for the Earthquake here, and with uh, two defense drops, that is definitely going to be enough to one-shot kill the Arcanine and drop him down to five Pokemon. And then I am going to regain some health uh, with the Leftovers. So, then he is going to come in with Sceptile, and he's going to take some damage from the rocks. And I'm going to switch out here, I don't want to get taken out with a Grass attack, so I'm going to come in with my Sylveon, actually uh, predicting this thing to be a special set, but he actually goes for the Leaf Blade instead, which proves he is a physical set. It takes me down by about half, and unfortunately I don't want to risk a switch here, so I am just going to stay in here and uh, let him take me out with another Leaf Blade. That is the end of poor Pinky, unfortunately didn't get to do anything there, so that drops me down to five Pokemon. So then I'm going to come in with my Pinsir Beetlejuice, and I am Choice Scarfed, so I know I'm going to outspeed this thing. I'm just going to hit him up with an X-Scissor, and that is going to be enough to one-shot the um, Sceptile, dropping him to four Pokemon. And I am going to get the Moxie to increase my attack, which is awesome. So then he is going to come in with... Jolteon and take some damage from the rocks. And I'm just going to stay in here and go for the X Scissor. Again, I am Choice Scarf, so I know I'm going to outspeed. Um, with the Moxie boost, that actually is going to be enough to one shot the Jolteon as well, dropping him down to three Pokemon. And I get another Moxie boost to increase my attack. So then he's going to go ahead and come in with Rayquaza, and he is going to um, take some damage from the rocks, and the Airlock is going to come into play. Um, so I'm going to go for the switch here. I am uh, stuck into X Scissors, so I'm going to come back in with my uh, Seismitoad basically as fodder, as he actually is going to go for the Mega Evolution into Mega Rayquaza, most broken Pokemon uh, ever, by the way, because um, why not? And uh, he's going to get the uh, Delta Stream uh, activated to protect the flying types from super effective damage. Go for the Flamethrower. Uh, not going to do a whole lot to me. Um, I am going to regain some more health with the leftovers, but not really going to matter since he is just going to outspeed me this turn. Go for a Dragon Claw, and that is going to be more than enough to finish off my Seismitoad, dropping me down to four Pokemon. So then I'm going to come in with my Rotom Heat Form, 
And he is going to outspeed me. He's going to go for a Dragon Claw. Again, that is going to take me down by a little more than half. I am in turn going to fire off a Hidden Power Ice, which is not going to do uh, as much as it would have because of the Delta Stream. He is going to survive that with about a quarter of his health, which is going to let him go for another Dragon Claw, which is going to finish off my Rotom Heat, dropping me down to three Pokemon. So then I'm going to come back in with my Pinsir. And... I am going to outspeed him, um, again being Choice Scarf, I'm going to go for the Stone Edge. It's not going to be super effective because of the Delta Stream, but it is going to be enough to finish off the Rayquaza, um, dropping him down to two Pokemon, ending the Delta Stream, and giving me a Moxie attack increase, which was nice. So, then he is going to come in with his Arceus, take some damage from the rocks, and uh, I'm going to switch out here. I don't want to risk missing a Stone Edge here, so I'm going to switch into my uh, Metagross Ultron, as uh, he is going to go straight for the Judgment. He actually uh, turns out to be the Water-type Arceus, so that is going to knock me down to about a quarter of my health. I know I'm not going to survive another one, so I just decide to go for a Bullet Punch uh, to get a little bit of chip damage on this thing. I'm going to take some damage from my Life Orb, and then he is just going to fire off another Judgment in return, because why not? And uh, that is going to be more than enough to finish off my Metagross, dropping me to two Pokemon. So, then I'm going to go ahead and come in with my Zoro Arc, uh, good old Zork. Unfortunately, since uh, my last Pokemon is knocked out, I don't have the uh, Illusion up. So I am going to hit him up with a Grass Knot. I do outspeed him. That is going to drop him to the red, but he does survive. Goes for the Judgment, and uh, that is going to drop me all the way down to my Focus Sash. But I do survive because of it, which is going to let me go for a Dark Pulse uh, next turn, outspeeding him once again. And that is going to be more than enough to finish off the Arceus and drop him to just one Pokemon. So, finally, he is going to come in with his Absol and take some damage from the rocks. And I'm going to outspeed this thing as well. I'm going to go for a Flamethrower, which is going to knock this thing down to about a quarter health. Uh, in turn, he is going to go for the Fire Blast, which is going to be more than enough to finish off my uh, Zoro arc, dropping me to just one Pokemon. But that's okay, because my last Pokemon is, of course, my Pinsir, who is, of course, Choice Scarfed. So I am just going to outspeed him, go for the X-Scissor, and that is going to be more than enough to finish off the Absol, and that is game. So I won that one. 1-0 uh, against Tifa, but it was a very good match, very close. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.